Hey everyone, it's Michelle Wessner from A&J Specialty Services DKI, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about six action steps you can take when dealing with water damage in your home or business. Your safety is first. Before you enter a room with standing water, you wanna make sure that the water isn't above the electrical boxes. So after making sure the water isn't above the outlets in your home, you wanna to go to the electrical box and flip the breaker to the area that was affected. And if you're unsure which area it was, flip the main switch, but make sure you have a flashlight. When you have a broken or frozen burst pipe or sprinkler system, an eighth inch crack can release up to 250 gallons of water per day. And just to show you the force that's running through your pipes, Knowing which one is the main water shutoff valve is critical. And if you're not sure that you're gonna remember which one, you can always tie something on it to trigger your memory in a panic situation. The next step is to call your insurance agent to see if it's covered and start the claim process. Then you'll wanna call a professional restoration company like A&J to get the drying process started. And if you don't have our app, you can reach us anytime at one touch of a button. In the meantime, you'll want to take pictures of the broken pipe or the source and also your belongings that were damaged and all the areas that were affected. After taking those pictures, you can start moving all light and movable objects out of the way so the restoration technicians can get in with their equipment and you can separate everything that you can keep or may need to be tossed. And finally, if it's a large area that was affected, you'll want to wait for the technicians to get there to start extracting the water. If it was just a small area, you can use towels, a mop, a shop vac to clean up the water and then set up fans to get the air moving to start the drying. Taking immediate action will reduce any additional damages, costs, and stress. So educate yourself right now on where your water shutoff valve is who you would call in an emergency situation, and any other measures you can take to be proactive. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to share this information with anyone you think could benefit from these tips. And if you have any questions or comments, post them below. We can't wait to hear from you.